Hello to everyone guys, this is a new video, in this video we are going to add a bit of form to this uh, object, so we uh, hide the terrain, so we can see, see this better, and we go to the player, that is to the zero uh, dimension, and we create a new object uh, that will be an FX and a particle uh, system. Now we need to change this, uh, this uh, particle system to fit our need. The first thing to do is to uh, move this in the local space of the of our player and go to the motor and fit it with the motor. So uh, let's see by this. Okay, this is correct. And um, by this, this should be a little bit more forward. Perfect. Now that uh, this is aligned, we can uh, change the particles. So uh, let's see uh, the basic uh, uh, particle system settings. We need a start delay by one second, so one or two, 1.5 second. This can be enough. So when we start, uh, we don't have uh, uh, immediately the particles and uh, we wait a little bit of time that the boat uh, uh, find a rest, uh, a rest state uh, in the water. Uh, the initial speed maybe is a little bit less because the uh, simulation space is to uh, the world space so if the boat moves this should be remain in the in the in that space as you can see in the water uh, because this is form actually and then we can go in the, this should be enough, maybe more particles simulated, the max particles. So now we need uh, to go in the mission. This will be controlled by script, but for now we set a uh, hundred uh, of constant rate. Then we will uh, set this uh, in the script. The shape will be a simple comb that will uh, well, where uh, we are, we, we can rename this, right? Yes, we'll call this form. So this is more simple to understand what we are doing. And uh, let's search for form, just by F. Okay, press F and play this. So this is perfect. We need to rotate our cone. So this face is us, so minus 90 degrees. And we need to make this a little bit bigger in the Z. Uh, not in the Z, sorry. In the X, maybe. We need to select local space. Okay, it's the same. So we go with a higher scale on the X, so this fits the motor. And this is just all for this then we change the size over the lifetime so the uh, the particle goes to disappear over time we start with a high particle dimension and then we go with a low one till uh, we add so it disappears then we go in the render and we set uh, this render to the uh, horizontal billboard so we are only working in the horizontal uh, dimension and this is more like it uh, sticks to the sea and then uh, this I think remains the same so let's try this out because partial system are about trying to get uh, the stuff working in the right way So if you accelerate, you accelerate. Now this this needs to be more more big because otherwise we can't see this. So we can go in the basic size, the start size, and put something like five. Okay, this is more correct. We can say. This just looks more like foams, but we need also to change this 
and to make uh, maybe uh, something like a square because we are working with a low poly environment so as you can see this remains underwater so we need to render this um, as an higher layer so we print this over our water and this is just a, a pretty good good form uh, not nothing too complex uh, but this is just uh, funny to work with now we copy this and we add another one of this uh, in front of the bot so we have two of this now we need to control the rate of this two. So we go in the script. Also because now uh, we have a more realistic look to the bot because it gives also the the this oh, sorry <laughs> the destruction of the water by the uh, head of the bot. So now we can go inside the script and uh, we can change the. Uh, uh, form based on the uh, on what the bot is doing so uh, we need uh, first of all three different variable uh, that will be uh, the motor form uh, multiplier the uh, uh, motor form base So a basic value for this and the uh, front form multiplier. So now we can change our rate. Uh, first of all, we need also uh, a reference to our. Uh, to the emission of our particles, so we go in in uh, uh, the particle system dot uh, emission module, and we call one uh, uh, moto and the other front. So part two, we can go with a more concise one, moto and uh, I say the front. Right? Yes. Uh, we can assign this. So we can go in motor uh, equals to uh, transform dot get child to get the first child we need an index so the first child uh, we get the uh, particle system component and we get by this the emission module the same thing goes for the front. Uh, but is the second child and then there we can change the motor rate to be uh, the uh, product by the uh, form multi uh, motor form multiplier times the axis throttle input dot uh, get axis and we go with throttle so based on how much we press in the motor and the motor is always on so we uh, select the motor dot uh, form base so uh, we have a, a basic uh, form that always exit the motor for the front we go based on our uh, velocity so the rate will be a uh, multiplier front multiplier times the uh, rigid body dot velocity obviously the magnitude of the velocity so we can go and see if this works obviously there is uh, the delay and obviously we need to set the value so let's go with 100, uh, 10 and 100 just to test And this is just all, so the motor always goes and the front one is based on the velocity. Where is the bot? Ah, here we are. 
so that can be cool obviously we need to set this to be a little bit of maybe I no that's right but the velocity obviously is more uh, is higher so we uh, reduce this So this is all for this video, we can uh, see us in the next video, uh, thanks for watching.